The best woman tourism minister is from Bahrain. Women were out and strong at ITV Berlin this year. The largest travel industry trade show regained strength after three years of COVID-19 interruption and went coincide with the International Day of Women. The discussion of gender equality flamed up recently, specifically with heated talks in Europe and North America. But tourism may be different. At ITB, this hot topic was discussed at panels around the travel and tourism world. In travel and tourism, most leaders are women, and this is not so much realized in many countries. Women leaders also count very much for the Islamic world. Perception still counts Islamic countries as a tough place for women to succeed in their professional careers. This perception is changing fast with a new reality. In Saudi Arabia, Princess Haifa Al Saud is the Saudi the Vice Minister of Tourism. Sarah Al Husseini has been the General Director of International Cooperation at the Saudi Ministry of Tourism since 2019. The top advisor to the Minister of Tourism in Saudi Arabia has been seen as the most powerful and outspoken woman in the world of tourism since she was CEO of WTTC. This is Gloria Guevara, who was a tourism minister herself for her native Mexico. She told E Turbo News, her family loves living in Saudi Arabia, and this little girl who added chocolate to a sustainable tourism world in Riyadh shows a promising future for our industry C without borders. The influence of women in tourism is not different in neighboring Bahrain. He Ms. Fatima bint Jafar al Sirafi is the Minister of Tourism in this oil-rich nation. She was recognized in Berlin as the Best Woman Tourism Minister of the Year by the Pacific Area Travel Writers Association. He Ms. al Sirafi was chosen by a specialized judging panel that closely examined various women tourism ministers around the globe, accounting for 29 women tourism ministers. He Ms. al Sirafi's achievements and accomplishments in upgrading the tourism and travel sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain played a vital role in honoring her with the Best Women Tourism Minister of the Year award. Under her leadership, tourism in the kingdom is 90% back from pre-COVID 2019 levels. Under her leadership, the estimated level of recovery for Barhen predicted by the World Tourism Organization at 65% was far exceeded. As a tourism minister of an important but smaller Gulf destination, she showed the world how independent countries and regions can benefit from cooperation with other countries. He Ms. al Sirafi said, Efforts of our teams at the Ministry of Tourism and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, in addition to our partners in the private tourism establishments as well as other stakeholders, show excellent results. This is a testament to our keen desire to contribute as part of Team Bahrain to overcome the obstacles that the tourism sector went through during the pandemic and bring back this important field to its normal position to enable it to contribute to boosting the national economy, diversifying income sources, creating employment opportunities and attracting investments. She further pointed out the many untold success stories in the Kingdom of Bahrain that craft unique visitor experiences. Bahrain is active in regional tourism activities and the meeting and incentive industry market. Many young Saudi Arabians see Bahrain as a popular party destination. Bahrainis see Saudi Arabia as a destination of many new trendy and cultural opportunities, and travel between the two countries is booming, especially on weekends. As a smaller independent travel destination sandwiched between neighboring Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Qatar, the kingdom has developed its niche within tourism destinations in the Gulf region. Cooperation is a win-win. He, Ms. Fatima bint Jafar al Sirafi, understands this. Edmund Bartlett, the Minister of Tourism for Jamaica, was also recognized with a Patwa Award. He and he Mr. Ahmed Akil Al-Khatib from Saudi Arabia and he Ms. Fatima bin Jafar al Sirafi from Barhan have a shared vision and could make a winning team. They all see tourism from a global perspective. Bahrain is located on the Persian Gulf and comprises a small archipelago made up of 50 natural islands and an additional 33 artificial islands, centered on Bahrain Island, which makes up around 83% of the country's landmass.